from around the globe. It's the Q with digital coverage of DockerCon Live 2020. Brought to you by Docker and its ecosystem partners. Okay, welcome back to DockerCon's virtual headquarters here in Palo Alto, the Cube Studios. I'm John Furrier with my co-hosts, Jenny Bercio, John Kreis, the CMO of Docker, Jenny obviously with community and co-hosting all week, all day coming in and out of the sessions. Good to see you guys. How you feeling? I'm, we're almost there, we're halfway home, past halfway. I'm glad we're not co-hosting all week though. But yes, I'm having I'm having a great day. Uh, love love the energy of DockerCon and and everyone. John, yeah, I love this vibe fantastic. because it's the Cube meets DockerCon. You used to do physical events, we used to do Cube events. So the yep. pace of these events is taxing. A little bit of a relief, still more focused, but it's not as hardcore as physical event. Yeah. But it's a content packed agenda. So yeah, there's a there's a kind of a, a mental and maybe emotional strain, but the physical part of running around and you know trying to be here and there and all these different places isn't there. So you know there's a lot of um, uh, mental load or cognitive load that we have going on here. But but yeah, there's just so much energy that gets that gets poured into the event from the attendees, um, from the speakers, from the sponsors. Like there's just so much energy that is still going on. We're in fifth hour here. And um, you know there are people you know commenting away and attending the sessions, and we're super excited. All the money I saved on the ticket, I had Jersey Mike's DoorDash us in subs, and I had my favorite sub, so I had a great lunch. Unlike there conferences, we're not happy with the lunches, Jenny. We had a good lunch. <laughs> my lunch was not as delicious, I'll tell you that. But <laughs> all right, maybe, guys, maybe next time. Okay, we're going through the program. Good vibes going around. Interesting dynamics. I was just talking um, with John before we came on camera, Jenny that you know, other event platforms have like, you know, these pictures of fake people that are in stands and all these distractions. Here, there's no distractions. It's all pure content. Um, and people are having an interesting uh, experience. They're jumping around in sessions. I've been, I've been going through the different groups. It's like, you can literally transport into a session and get an instant vibe. So it's a new social signal. In a physical event, you got to sneak in the back of the room. They could be halfway through. You miss some of the presentation. Here, you can literally taste test sessions and get a feel. It's almost like a party. Each session is its own party. An interesting dynamic. I didn't really kind of envision it that accelerated fast. What, you, what do you guys think about that? Well, I think too, we designed different types of sessions or you know, breakouts versus the live stream versus what we're doing now with the interviews to really try to appeal to as many people as possible. And I think you get like you said, with the digital experience, you get to choose really quickly where you want to be and find the place that that you want to learn and hang out and, and who you want to chat with. And so that's great. And then obviously just the number of people that are able to be a part of this as opposed to a live event is fabulous. John, I want to get your thoughts on this because you brought this up when we were planning and discussing some of the uh, things we wanted to do. We, you really, you guys really wanted to have the uh, community chat feature with the captains doing their thing and having the, the chat sessions have the people in them. The moderators yeah. being the actual speakers. That was, seemed like a good call. What are you seeing on that? I'm seeing really robust chats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it was, uh, you're right. It was something we pushed for and our, you know, kudos to Jenny too for pushing it. I think it's something that we knew our community and and really how our community gets the most out of you know, out of the content around Docker and the event. And we really wanted to do everything we could to try to mimic as best we could the, the in-person event, some of the things that weren't going to be there because we were virtual. And so having chat in every single element of the of the conference, of the virtual conference, was something that, that was very important to us. And we've seen it play out. I mean, the, with the speakers in the chat during their sessions, they're answering questions, they're getting kudos, they're, you know, they're like reacting, they're pointing to other resources. Like it's just, it's a very, very interactive thing. And, you know, you and I were talking about it before, like in a normal conference, you know, you might see, you know, a certain small percentage of people come up with a question after there's a, there's a certain sort of social distancing and, you know, like people just don't want to go and ask questions and they're sort of free to ask whatever question they want in the chat. And it really has unlocked a lot of knowledge sharing and, and exchange of ideas. That's been certainly valuable on Twitter. For the folks watching now, jumping in, maybe coming in late, uh, we've got a main stage. If you look at the calendar, if you're on your desktop PC or mobile, there's a little time clock. So the stream sessions are streaming. We're in between the 2.30 and 3, 2.45 session, three o'clock session. So next coming up on this channel is Peter McKay from Sneak. 
They had news last week. This is security shifting left. So we're just filling it in, but there's some concurrent sessions going on now. Blimp, monolithic to microservices, Docker on SDLC on steroids. So the sessions actually happening now that are streaming, but there's also sessions that happen that are also on demand. You can go check that out. That's a cool feature. You could be part of the chat in real time. So you get the, in the moment, if you want it, if you don't, you can watch it whenever you want. So make, make sure that happens. So by design, congratulations. Good, good call, Jenny, on that one. Yeah, well, we knew we were going to put together a, a solid content program with all the CFPs we got and needed a way to quickly uh, give people the option to watch another session that was competing or something they missed and having planned content for DockerCon for a number of years. You know, the two questions are, when is the recording and where are the slides? So I tried to solve yeah. for that early so we wouldn't get it, but we're still getting that question all the time. So well, recordings are there. We, do, we got to add some new features for there. next time. Certainly we have to get the squad in there, right? The uh, squad yeah. section yeah. For, for the social networking. Uh, so your tweet the other day was, was fun to see that. The personal dynamics are going to in, only increase, John. So, you know, what's your vision on that? Because this again, scratching the surface, a lot yep. more interactions. Um, yeah, what do you, I mean, what I think you, you, you guys were talking about it before. It, the, the the initial vision that that Jenny and I, when we were sort of formulating what to do in December, was to was to combine an in-person element. So there's such a great community where they're meeting in person around the globe that we were thinking, how can we make those community meetings part of the overall event? And so obviously with with COVID, we weren't able to to do that. But I think that's one of the things we you know think of. And it could be a principally online event with a bunch of in-person meetings globally, people getting together. That's that's one of the ideas that we had, and I think that will increase and give some of that, that interaction. So John, I want to ask you the question I asked Jenny last time we were in between sessions. Uh, what's your favorite session? What do you what do you what's your favorite so far? Uh, there's so much there. I mean, what 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 jumped out at you or just any observations? Out there. I mean, that's like picking a favorite child, I think, and there's so many good pieces of content. I mean, it's always here. a trending uh, content. There's always stuff that kind of comes out of the woodwork that you kind of expected or unexpected. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, you know, the, I think the open source panel, because, you know, this open source is such a core element of, of Docker and what we do in the community. There was such a, a, a lot of really great um, insight that came out of that. Um, I think some of the customer sessions have been, have been really good. Um, you know, I think there's just a lot of different pieces. Like, there was an interesting one, the predicting space weather with Docker, just, uh, you know, an, an hour or so ago was a great session with Chris Lauer from NOAA. I mean, just scientists using Docker and developers and how they're able to, you know, improve those models and, you know, really make a difference in, in how weather is predicted and shown. You know, there's so many kind of real life examples that really touch home. And there's a great story coming on later in the day around pipelining with Docker for helps cancer. Jenny, with the, the minute that we have left, um, give us a, a sneak peek on the awards. At the, at the end of the yeah. day, there's going to be some awards. Give us a quick, you get the final minute, give us the overview and sneak peek. All right, one of my favorite parts of the day of DockerCon is awarding our community leaders and our captain. So the captain's award is nominated by fellow captains and community leaders, uh, the Docker team chooses based on, you know, how they're able to support uh, learning Docker and and containerization uh, within their local communities around the world. We have a huge meetup network, um, and you know they do so much to to really teach locally and 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 uh, live that rising tide uh, lifts all boats. So all right, we we'll look forward to that for the folks Day watching. With the next session coming up with Sneak, big security announcement happened last week. If you're coming in around the world, there's tons of people around the world coming in, join a meetup, go check out the sessions. It's a buffet of content you can taste below in the calendar, go check them out, jump into those sessions. They're like content containers. So jump in and, and chat and meet the people and stay tuned for this next great segment. Stay with us for the rest of the day, we've got more content. This is theCUBE and DockerCon here in the DockerCon virtual headquarters studios. I'm John Furrier, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.